So what can we do in the configurations page? We are able to create configurations of the export of different platforms. So we can get our CSS files out, our Kotlin files, our iOS Swift files, all of that is possible in the platform already. So we don't need to use build custom transforms. We can start all of that already inside Studio. If you go to the configurations page on a dashboard, you can see we are starting off without a configuration at the moment. I'm gonna create my first configuration and let's call this my web. After I've created my web configuration, you already see that I've got an output. It's already executing my all my tokens into one configuration. You can see here the included themes of color mode. Um, I can actually change the code. I'm gonna look into this in a second. I then in the output files can have my CSS file. So let's just expand this. I can see there's some transforms, uh, transforms active for name kebab, token studio group, kind of like it's a group transform. And then we actually have the specific format here. If we edit this one, we can see, oh, that's the name CSS. We actually have a build path. We could also add a prefix if that's needed. We define the transformation of how we like our variables to look like. We have the transformation groups. And then at the bottom, we have the output format of CSS variables, kind of. Since we are using already light and dark as a theme, I will now actually add here my theme placeholder and save this change. And by that change, I now get a light CSS and a dark CSS file that are actually in the specific color mode rendered with all the sets active as we have it here. Underneath, I can actually choose which of the following composition tokens need to be expanded. So I can expand all composition tokens, typography, border, shadow. That is important if your platform actually needs these expanded formats because it can't handle a shorthand form of typography, for example, which we can handle in web. But for other platforms, we can't. Let's add a new platform. But first, let's save the change. So before we add another platform, let's look at the code side of it. If you press view code, you will actually see that under the hood, this is purely a style dictionary configuration. So in here, we can write our custom config and we can actually add additional functions if we need them. So we can really adjust all of the style dictionary transforms inside the platform already. Let's create a new configuration for Android, for example. So we're gonna do our Android, create that configuration. And in Android, we're now actually gonna change our configuration from CSS and that's gonna be our Android, Android. Um, we're probably not going to use our kebab case naming. We're probably going to go something with Pascal case in the naming format. And for the C formats, we are not using CSS format. We are actually using Android resources. I think that's the best one here. And then we actually have, a, oops, let me go in here, theme.xml and save the change. By that, it now actually created my resource for Android. So you can see here, I have my string of size zero, kind of, I have my color resource, and I think that's actually the two different ones we have at the moment, yeah. So the transforms are already working, and again, I have a light and a dark output here. So all of that is possible inside this one configuration. Let's save the changes again. Let's go back to our web. So with our output file ready in the web format, we can now actually copy the current file content or download all of them. But you don't need to do that. In the next video, we're going to look at the release page in which you actually can automatically create these exports when creating a release for the developers to consume. I hope that gave some insights. If you have questions, please reach out to us. We're happy to help.